Welcome back. So, last time I tried streaming, which was yesterday, uh, I was having difficulties with my internet, so it cut out after like seven minutes. Um, by the time it was fixed, uh, my family was home, and it was just too loud of an environment to stream. So, basically, you didn't miss much. I only played for about 23 minutes. Uh, so basically what you missed was this, they talked about, you know, what it meant of finding that book of raising your transgender child in their mom's room and Tyler's journal. And they were trying to figure it out. They decided to go and talk to her best friend, Tessa. And as they went inside, uh, they walked into a man, I think his name was Sam, uh, who had a gun pointed right at Tyler saying that he was trespassing even though it was his own house and apparently Sam has been looking after the house uh, ever since their mom passed 10 years ago uh, and yeah he seemed like he was in love with their mom or something so anyways that's all you missed so it was it was intense but uh, not not too much at least so anyways let's get back to the game here uh, we're just heading into town now to meet with Tessa. I think that's our friend Michael. Friend. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Um, okay, now... We have collectibles we need to find. Are there any collectibles around here? Okay, can't yeah, go over there. Collectibles, collectibles. We need our collectibles. I don't have to sneeze. Pineapples. Have you ever heard of that? You say pineapples and it makes the person not have to sneeze. My boyfriend does that to me all the time, and it drives me insane. <laughs> she just sneezed! Did you see that? <laughs> We're so in sync! Oh, man. Okay, I'm not finding any collectibles. None of the collectibles. Hey, Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already That's know you. That's right, his name is Michael. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. 
thinking about it, you better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good. Oh, just a second. Just gonna double check that this is all working. Since we since we had problems last time. Looks good. Okay. Continue. Beaten. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. <sighs> Never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Collectibles, collectibles. Let us find collectibles. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. I mean, he's not exactly charismatic. Are you just gonna wait there? Okay. <coughs> Canoe. Wanna sit on the canoe? Okay. Oh, we got a memory. Hey Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Because it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. <laughs> that was funny. I love puns. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. See, it's just my favorite thing. I could totally be one. Boo! Oh, Jesus. Jesus. How do you always get me? <sighs> I'm sneaky like that. I jump really easy. <laughs> Yeah, apparently I can't take that toy, so apparently that's not a collectible. Oh, why would they put them in there then? That's so tempting. We're fine. Weren't they talking about demolishing this playground? Yeah. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Ugh, crybabies. Playground should be ground zero for natural selection. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Unfortunately, Delos Crossing is too cheap to replace it. Aww. Why does he have to sit on the canoe and I can't? Stupid game. Okay. I'm kidding, I love the game. Wait. Is that a mem memory? Where is it? Where is it? Hmm. I know they're here somewhere. Should we go inside, or stand around until we become human popsicles? Where is it? There's totally just a spot where... Aha! Oh, should I walk right into it? Okay. Yes! I wanna have the crispy tocino! And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. <laughs> but Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. 
I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. It's crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Think you would care? Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka, and the hail marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working He's out at the old house. Accepting. But surprise, surprise. After ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's like one way guy. to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. No way, the Trout King is still here. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder! <laughs> okay, what is this stuff? Maple syrup. I need to read that. What's this? Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake. Toasted marshmallow. Coke candles. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Um, Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Well, I'm allergic to scents, so we're gonna go with plain. Mm. Plain candles are fine. Got any big plans in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passport cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. <laughs> Maybe someday, but. In the meantime, I'll be washing dishes as I work my way up Juno's cutthroat diner industry. I bet you won't be washing dishes long. Yeah, I'll graduate to slinging Adam and Eve on a raft. Uh, what? Eggs and toast. I've been studying up on diner lingo. <laughs> Clearly. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm, I feel like there's a story there. Come on, spill. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. 
and I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. He totally likes Allison. He did it. What's going on, Tyler? What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. I haven't decided what snacks I want either. Choice paralysis is a thing. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Organic cleaning, yes. Mm, organic's better. Better for the earth. That's what we want. Oh. I bet drinks are here. Yes. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Water. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. I don't know why you wouldn't get two since there's two people. Hey, why can't I take fruit and veggies? I should grab some That's important in the diet, protein. you know. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know, I got a, a sweet tooth, food. sis. Sugar rush it is. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Ten little word for culmination. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. Oh, That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. You're trying to murder her son was God's what plan. What the hell was okay. that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. It's okay, it's early in the morning for me. It. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? 
What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Oops. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Okay, we remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Please, let's just talk for let's a few minutes, Tyler's okay? Are you hearing me? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Ooh, bitch was lying. Is there something I can do for you? Start off chatting. So, what are you first. doing there? Oh, just inventory. Ch chat. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Okay. 
Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? I should have asked the This rest might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Ugh. I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Unfortunately, we can't listen to the song. This is it, right? I think so. Awkward silence. <laughs> oh, more memories. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? She seems bipolar to me. You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Any more memories? What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine! Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. That was the pamphlet. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? She I don't know. I, just want I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, Probably though. Probably conversion like, therapy. Maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. This is true. I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Go snoop it on her computer. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. 
Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue seekers in your camp. Doctor, why is talk articulating God's design? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. Powerful Christian cults. Sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Jeez. So it was her. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> collectible. What's this doing here? Yes. So I didn't do it right. It's more of a yes. The Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, got it. Ah, 2004. Oh, this Anything is interesting? interesting. Elijah, Eric, D, Marianne. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before her. That night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Um. I think I remember it being in the fall that she attacked her son. I think October 2004. Remember. That was when she stopped the trying to pay her debts, right? Closer. Yes. I don't know why she always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I, uh, um, I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It yes. was clear she was... We got the little... Coming apart at the seams. Twinkly thing. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help. Both of you, at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Wow. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. What a nice guy. Bye, Tom. Thanks, See Michael. See you later. 
What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. Marianne, she had my back. Every hour it, it really doesn't oh, change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Ooh. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. I guess that car was kind of blocking the way. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Still got this creepy mascot, huh? So I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I know this is a short stream. Uh, um, I have other things I have to get to, but I might be able to stream later today. We'll see. Um, otherwise, it'll be again tomorrow. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'll see you dudes later.